I have like a little lens in the center maybe, is that what I mean? That's my doctor spying on me or something? I just pulled a 32 gigabyte SD card out of the We got kicked out. We got kicked out. The cult we were infiltrating found out that we were secretly recording them. So if you're just tuning into the series, basically YouTuber Reckless Ben and I, we've been undercover at this cult for three weeks and we had secret spy cameras and they had no idea that we were recording. Well, I guess except for um, this episode. I mean, we're going to get into that right now. But before we get into that, I just want to say this video is for educational documentary purposes and is allowed on YouTube. We don't support anything the cult is saying. We're trying to shed light and get the information out there and hopefully help someone, save someone, and to take down this disgusting evil cult for good. But let's get into the video. So the day started as, as well as it can at a cult. I mean, we're heading down to manual labor and Ben was making the most out of it. He was feeling himself. So it seemed like everything was fine. And then we're doing manual labor and this is when things like take a turn and it just gets really awkward with the cult members. Like the people that we usually interact with, they weren't as friendly and it just, it just seemed off. Oh, hey, I was wondering where you were. And Nathaniel that we like basically are with every single day at the farm. He's the one that we've like pretty much lied to the most. I, he just looked off and he, he gave me a really awkward hug. Hey. 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 Good, good to see you. Good afternoon. Yeah. How are you today? Uh, to me, it felt like he wanted to like hurt me, but he really? he, he can't because like that's not what they believe in. Yeah, he's going to hell if he hurts you. Yeah, but, but did it, he hurt you? But it, no, but it just felt like more like an aggressive hug. Like he's not happy to see me. It was like a sarcastic "I love you" hug. Do you hear about Ben? He got rid of his lease. Yeah. Hey, he's he's out of his lease. Uh, here here for good. It's getting more awkward. He just isn't even saying anything. He gave the rest of his stuff to his roommates. He's, he's yeah. here for good. Yeah, so. So obviously you could tell that something's off because usually Nathaniel would be like so stoked that Ben's going to be living there full time. Can they help me sort the peppers? Yeah, you? for sure. We're so basically it was just me, you, Nathaniel, yeah. no one else. They just started asking us weird questions. I just felt like the most uncomfortable vibe from them. This is also the day before I was supposed to get baptized, right? I just want to make sure it's, you know, because so many people get baptized, it's not real, you know? It's, a, it's hard to find people who are true on earth, you know? So many people are just not really true, you know? They tell you something and they're not really... I know, it's so messed up. People trust you, you know? Fall in love with you. They're asking questions to us that seems like they're on to us, but there's no way they're on to us because like, how could they be on to us? Like all they know is our first names. Like there's no possible way they can know what we're doing. You know what yeah. I mean? They only know you as Ben Slackline and I'm Daniel, the Virgin Surfer. That's all I know. They were asking some very specific questions. So those who are here for the right reasons, they find something yeah. amazing, you know? Those who aren't, even if they get baptized and all that, they, it doesn't endure because it's not real, you know? Yeah. Basically, if he starts acting sketch, that's going to make the person that's actually lying to him feel sketch. And then we're going to be one step ahead of him yeah. and fully know that he knows. I was already feeling it in my stomach. I was like, dude, we're going to get caught today. Like, he knows. Well, Danny, now he's going to set up the ultimate trap for us. Is there anything you see that you do not agree with? Just be completely honest. It's fine. Um, it's fine. It's totally fine. So far, nothing. Right, right when he said that, I was like, he knows. Yeah, but I mean, we did play it off probably as best as we can. Yeah. That's okay. I, I haven't not agreed with something. Obviously, we're going to stay in character. That's why we're one step ahead of him. We're one step ahead of the people that think that they're one step ahead of us. Good job, Danny. Thanks, Ben. When we're doing manual labor, I always bring my water and uh -huh. I forgot my water in the car. If I'm going to go get my water, I might as well go change out the spy glasses. So I go tell Ben. I'm gonna get my, uh, yeah, I'm going to get my water. I know you see me. I'm a little out of it. Yeah. Ben, I'm going to go to my uh, the car and, and grab water. I'm really thirsty. You say I'm thirsty. And yeah, obviously being thirsty is just a code word for like, I'm going to go change out the glasses. So I'll be back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is the last time you're going to see me with these spy glasses at the cult because I'm walking back to like where we're doing manual labor and I noticed two of the like the main guys are walking down to the farm, but I just thought we we're going to get caught. Like I knew it. Really? I got nervous and sometimes I get a nervous pee. So I went to go pee in a bush. When I come back from peeing, they come up to me and one of the guys goes, Daniel, can I see your glasses? Oh, should I, should I be Ravok? Yeah, you're Ravok. Okay. Can I see your glasses? Yeah, of course. 
He knew exactly where the memory card was. What's this? And he takes out the memory card. It's not easy to get that memory card out and to find the memory card. But Ben and I are smart. We press record on audio on our phones. Oh yeah, I immediately took out my phone. Just pretend like I was sending a text. Now we have the audio of them basically. Yeah, they, they caught us. Which doctor do you go to? Has like a little lens in the center, maybe? Is that what it is? Is my doctor spying on me or something? So all the other times we had an excuse for why the glasses were like flashing or whatever. Your, your glasses make it blue, right? Those are new glasses? Uh, yeah. And I made up this crazy lie. Well, because I, I have a severe, like, lazy eye. I have a lazy eye? And so these glasses, like, really helped me, like, stay focused and have the eye not wander. I was also bullied a lot for the lazy eye, so my eye doctor, I kind of told him the whole story about my situation. The doctor, like, felt bad because I told him my bullying story. Yeah, I, I got, I, yeah, he gave them to me. My doctor basically gave me these glasses, so I'm still staying in character. I mean, of course we're going to try and play it off because, like, we've had three weeks of trust gain on them. Like, maybe we can get out of this, you know? Yeah. We were looking you guys up a little bit. Not really all do infiltrating different groups and stuff, secret cameras and there's this video on YouTube about the secret glasses, camera glasses and stuff. They found my Scientology series. And like, what about like the videos of like infiltrating Scientology? Are you attempting to investigate Scientology? What kind of glasses are these? What kind of glasses are these? Has he been filming? Go back to the beginning. A lot of Scientology people were trying to recruit me and I was actually kind of serious about it. It seemed legit at the time. Did you do some things like put cameras and PBS? The Go Big Show. I recorded the whole experience with a secret camera and my spy glasses. That was like not a good thing to have on like the front page of my YouTube. <laughs> I was doing a Slackline show for him. Well, I guess I'm not happy I did that, but I did do it. Well, it's your life. That's they fun. know everything. They literally know everything. They know everything about us. Well, not me. They might think I'm your filmer because like Ben and I unfollow each other off Instagram and I go by Danny, not Daniel. And they don't know my last name, so. Yeah, I don't think they're able to find you. Yeah, they, they won't find me until the video's out. I just pulled a 32 gigabyte SD card. Does anybody else's classes have that? We can get my doctor involved if you want. Yeah. When he's saying this, like, I had the craziest butterflies in my stomach. We basically didn't know what to expect. Are they going to hurt us? Like, what's going to happen if they catch us? And at this moment, we're finding that out. And I'm scared. And I'm psyched because I'm like, this is where the footage gets good. I'm like, literally thinking to myself, I'm like, this is making the YouTube video. Well, you did a little, you had a little video about your spy glasses. So his glasses have a 32 gigabyte. Well, we're not, will um, he be wearing the glasses then? Yes. I don't know, maybe. Make, that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we get escorted out on like, wait, it was like a 15 minute walk back to the car, right? Yeah, dude. I, and dude, you had to like go to your room and like get your stuff. And then I walk outside, Nathaniel literally, I didn't tell you this, he literally right. walks down and like gets this close to me to see what I was doing. And then so I go, What's going on, Nathaniel? What's going on, actually? I didn't do anything wrong. I don't know what they're saying about Ben. Has Ben been lying to me? That's what I'm saying. That's, that's a Ben, that's a Ben thing, man. I, I love it here. I've been loving it here. Alright, let's go. Uh, I've been loving it here. So you, have you been my fake friend this whole time? What are you saying that's true? Why, why would you do this? Why, why would you get me involved if this is true? Respectfully, if this is all true, I'm sorry. I don't want to be involved in any of this. And we were living with these guys for like three weeks. Like we got to know them and like we gained their trust. And now for them to like catch us like doing this, like it, it was just the most shameful thing I could ever imagine ever. I'm gonna go my separate way and get my proof. And I'm gonna come here. I wanna prove my innocence, so. They didn't know anything about me. They didn't know I had a YouTube channel. So I could just play it off as like, I'm coming back to prove my innocence. You're my fake friend. I wanted to play in that character. Basically like, I guess Ben's been lying to me this whole time, man. I can't part. believe you betrayed me, man. But eventually we get back to the cars and I said, see you guys soon, I guess. And then I stay and I was like, I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Like, look, he's going away. Obviously, you might have been right. I'm still standing here. Everything they say, we always have some type of excuse for them. Well, I want to prove my innocence, so... I would love to keep it. So when we left, I was feeling like it was really uncomfortable. That was probably the most uncomfortable yeah. kick out because they, they kicked us out. They respectfully kicked us out at least, but like it was the most awkward kick out. I just felt weird driving away. I was like, dude, really? We were here for three weeks and this is how it had to end. 
We got kicked out. We got kicked out. So if we think about how could they have possibly known? Because we never gave them our last names. We never signed anything. They never saw anything about us. They don't use computers. They don't use phones. They don't use anything. So we had to be a little creative with how we were going to find out. We had a comedian friend, Blake, call the Yellow Deli as like a private investigator that was on a mission to find us. And obviously the cult's going to believe it because the restaurant people don't really talk to the farm people that much because they don't really use cell phones. So as long as we use the name Ravak, that'll be enough trust for them to trust that our comedian friend is actually a private investigator. Good evening, Yellow Deli and Vista. Hi, my name is Ron Andlers. I'm a detective with uh, B Private Investigators. I, I was told that you guys had an infiltration by a uh, someone named Ben Schneider. I'm calling just to get a little bit of information of anybody who knows about him. Hang on one sec. Thank you so much. I was told he was recording with um, some spy glasses or something with a micro USB. Yeah. Okay, so he was doing that. D when did you find out that he was indeed recording with the device? Well, we we obtained the, the USB out of his glasses. They obtained the USB out of the glasses that has nothing on it. If they actually look at the SD card, all I did was pee, so they might see my penis. And then they took the glasses. Well, we found him in the bathroom a lot, so I don't know. We were kind of wondering if maybe he planted some kind of recording device in the bathroom or something. The guy thinks I planted recording devices in the bathroom. Did because you? No. You I, did that, right? Dude, I went to the bathroom because I was there for like nine hours. You told me I want to film these people going to the bathroom. <laughs> no, it's like your kink, right? <laughs> Stop. No. Is that not your kink? I basically had like nine pairs of spy glasses in my pockets. So I'd go change them out every hour and 30 minutes. And so I went to the bathroom a lot because I had to pee. But really, I was just changing out the spy glasses. Okay. That, that was a thought. So, my wife struggles with this. Like 600,000 people struggle with IBS every year it's a crazy thing so maybe it could have been that it could have been something that he was planting in there so i'm gonna what's that what's what's ibs oh irritable bowel syndrome yeah yeah you never know how did you find out he was filming exactly um well we looked him up he okay asked him some interesting questions okay um just kind of like pointed questions like trying to get us to have a judgment towards like lesbians because we're, we're like a religious community i see and um but the way that he was asking was just kind of interesting oh no it's my fault we got caught i remember everything now so we weren't based at the restaurant so part of the cult lives at the restaurant and part of the cult lives at the farm so we lived at the farm and we gained everyone's trust at the farm but we didn't gain everyone's trust at the restaurant and so if you say something that's kind of like testing them in a way at the restaurant i guess they're gonna feel sketched out but did you guys end up hearing about lydia Ben's fiance <laughs> Today at 8 in the morning. So if you guys missed part of the series, like we ended up killing off Ben's fake fiance for having uh, gay thoughts about women because the leader of this cult says, if you're gay, you should be put to death. And so we just kind of wanted to play into their narrative. I guess she was having thoughts about, like gay thoughts about women. I don't know, we were thinking maybe God was punishing her because I don't know why she was having those thoughts. Right after I said that, I, um, yeah, I, I, uh, I said this. Was it kind of weird he was with Chinese girl anyways? <laughs> like, shouldn't he marry but then race? <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't the Bible say that too? I don't know. The Bible's so specific, but there's definitely something to cultural boundaries. Yeah. That, that is respected. I always imagine him with a, with a wife, though, but... Yeah, I knew that wasn't the best time to bring that up. But if we would have said this at the farm where we were based at, they would have fully said, yeah, you should marry within race. I want to marry somebody outside of my race. Yeah, you want it? Mexican or Native American. But like, just because this guy, he didn't gain my trust yet. He didn't know if I was trying to like, you know, get something out of him, which he was right because I was. But um, yeah, I, I, I screwed up on that. And so one of us had the thought to, to look him up. The reason why I don't think they found me is because all they know is my name's Daniel. I'm a virgin surfer. If you Google Daniel, the virgin surfer or just daniel surfer there's so many daniels in the world that surf but because you are one of the best slackliners in the entire world if you just google ben slackline your yeah. youtube channel or your instagram comes up no you're which right one, which one actually comes up everything comes up i'm like and, the only ben slackliner and that's how they found you was there a specific person that um tipped him off yeah yeah there's someone else that that had the idea to look him up he's gonna be here in a little bit he could probably talk to you yeah what's his name 
Uh, his name is um, Yakul. I literally knew it was that guy. Like after I said all that stuff at the deli and just the way he was acting, I just knew that guy didn't trust us. I mean, that guy was already weird from the start. Like right when we walked into the restaurant, like he asked if we were- you No. So if you missed part of the series, like the cult, they don't like Jewish people at all. Even what happened to Holocaust, it's all communicated by the Jews. You know, that's why we're trying to save this country. That was the same guy that asked about my glasses that night. Those are new glasses? Uh, yeah. I mean, I thought I came up with, like, good lies to, like, get him to, like, get off our backs and not think we were sketchy, but he just was suspicious on us. Maybe I can have this Yakul person call you. Bye. Bye. Dang it! What? They just, they just looked me up. How could they have looked me up? They didn't know my last name. Hello? Hi, is this you, Cole? Uh, is it? Uh, this is Ron Andlers. I'm a private investigator. I just talked to someone earlier as well, and they said to call back to talk to you specifically. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're not interested. Thank you. Bye now. What? <laughs> what? At least we know now of like how they know, but like they still don't know anything about me. They don't know that I have a YouTube channel. Okay, so you said you want to come back and prove your innocence, right? You did. You're so smart. This is what you're reckless, Ben. Like you got a crazy idea. Going back, baby. I'm gonna go prove my innocence. I can't believe I'm going back. I'm innocent, right? They don't know I have a YouTube channel, so I gotta go back. It's just. Do you think they're gonna react kindly to us, dude? It's scary. I feel like they can close the gates on us. I feel like they can hold me hostage. It's literally like we're going back into a lion's the lion's den. Ended. The fact that they caught us, it was the most uncomfortable, scariest like feeling of my entire life. But then you go back. That is insane to me. But yeah, we do it. You guys are probably like, after that, that's it, right? No, it's not the end. It is just the beginning. It's called the 12 tribes, right? 12 locations. So what do you think? This is a big spoiler, by the way. This is not the next episode, but it's the episode after that. I go, Ben, there's 12 locations. What if we fly somewhere and re-infiltrate it in a different location? That is all I'm going to say. That is the biggest spoiler. And um, yeah, we did it. 12 tribes, you're not ready for what we're doing. So make sure you're subscribed. I'm telling you, you're not going to want to miss. I think we have like six more episodes left. But also make sure you subscribe to Reckless Ben because he's doing a version of this as well. And I'll see you guys back of the cult. Proving my innocence, baby. Undercover, but sadly without these glasses, I got to find some new spy gear. I'm thinking the spy car keys. So I'll see you guys on the next episode. Oh, you're not ready for it. I don't even know if I am. All right, peace. Actually really curious what happens if you take out the memory card when it's still recording that's what Rovox did when he took my glasses he took the memory card out when it was still recording so like does it corrupt the clip i don't know so we actually tested it out turns out dude it does corrupt the clips so they got nothing they got dude nothing. well like pretty much they only would have seen my penis but like i didn't want them to see my penis anyway so they got nothing yes